Hello friends, I hope you're having a great day. Nick here. Today I'm going to show you a quick productivity tip with Studio One. And it, uh, it's gonna really shine with uh, working with MIDI. So we're gonna dive right into it. So go right up here to Studio One menu and hit the keyboard shortcuts uh, option. And in here we're going to type in quantize and we're gonna have all of these useful options here change. So you can see I have uh, these already set up and keybound. So if you want to keybind key bind something, you just uh, click uh, whatever's not bound yet. Uh, you, you enter your key here and you hit assign and it'll assign it. So really simple and easy. And then just don't forget to hit apply after. So you can see this is kind of the setup that I have uh, for some of these functions here in the uh, quantize uh, section. If you want to copy it, you can pause the video and uh, check it out. Another thing that I have um, selected is dotted. And then another one that I have is split at grid and th I think this is really the if you're gonna uh, key bind and use this you really need to make sure you have split at grid set up so I have that set up to numpad plus and now let's see these key key binds in action so first I'll show you up here in the track window and so I can just kind of split these up really quickly right so that's kind of the power of the split at grid function so I can change the subdivision to whatever I want and now I have these um, split up into different groups which is super quick super handy and uh, very useful but this th th these uh, key bindings really shine down here in the MIDI section so we can do something like uh, enter a few of these whole notes make sure I have my audio set up properly I don't want to accent me solo myself out okay and then we have that and select these and then we can start uh, subdividing these however we want yeah, I can just hit on the uh, numpad there change the subdivision hit different notes change these around I can go into the uh, mute function and then start uh, start muting out a few different ones or I can delete them if I want right so and we can go in, start moving things around. All right? So, with just the keyboard, you can do quite a bit. Like, let's say you're listening to this and you don't like that this is a whole note and, uh, or quarter note, sorry, and you want it to be eighth notes instead, right? Boom. There we go. That's it. Done. Yeah, I hope you have a fantastic day. That's kind of it for this video. Just a quick, simple tip for you to utilize and implement. Have a great day. Thank you.